Um, yes. Um, so once again, thank you very much for taking the time to be here. The main purpose, as I have stated, is to walk you through the application process and kind of a general information about the OLS cohort that you'll be joining as part of the Catalyst project. I would like to start from introduction from the OLS team and some members of the Catalyst project team. Um, so as part of the Catalyst project team, we have Toby, who is with the Carpentries. I would like to call on Toby to introduce himself. Sure. Hi, everybody. Uh, yeah, Toby Hodges, pronouns he, him, his. I am director of curriculum with the Carpentries. Um, so in my day-to-day -day work, I'm um, leading the curriculum team at the Carpentries who supports all of the community's activities around curriculum development, um, curriculum maintenance and so on. Um, in the Within the Catalyst project, I've been involved a little bit in a few different things, including uh, organizing and delivering development training, and then also um, coordinating some of the instructor training and things like that that'll be delivered through the Carpentries. It's very nice to be here with you all. Um, thank you, Toby. And from the OLS team, we have Yo. Hey everyone, my name's Yo. Or in Espanol, mi nombre es Johanna, porque Yo uh, doesn't make much sense, I know. <laughs> um, I'm executive director of OLS, and we've been running community training for about five years now. So looking forward to meet you and to answer any questions. Um, thank you, Yo. We also have Irene. Hola. Hi, my name is Pene. I am working with OLS, coordinating training cohorts for another program, which is the Nebula program in collaboration with NASA. Um, uh, también hablo español. Entonces, si quieren preguntar en español o hacer comentarios en español en el chat, um, puedo ayudar con la traducción. So I also speak Spanish. If you want to uh, comment or ask questions in Spanish, feel free, and I will help with that. Um, thank you, Irene. And we have Deborah. Hi, folks. <laughs> I'm on my way home, so it's quite noisy if you can hear. But my name is Deborah Udo, or Debs, which is easier to pronounce. I am the web developer for OLS. Really happy to talk about technical stuff and cuts. Thank you very much, Debs. Okay, um, with that introduction, I would um share my screen to go through a presentation that we have prepared for today's session. Um, so a moment, please, and I will share my screen. Um, can you see my screen? <clears throat> yes, okay. So this is um, the OLS Open Seat program and we welcome everybody from everywhere. So we are all welcome to today's uh, presentation. So what is the Open Seat Mentoring and Training Program? So it is an opportunity where you can practice, share, connect, empower open seed leaders, which is uh, practicing science in the open. So there will be mentoring sessions, there's going to be training calls, and then there's going to be interaction with mentors. And hopefully the, the program will start from September to January 20, from September 2024 to January 2025, instead of 2023. I'm sorry for that error. Um, as you are aware, currently we have opened the applications and it will be closed by the 20th of July, which we have about 10 days. Um, yes, we are open to um, extending that for a week if there is need based on your feedback. So who are the OLS community? So we have over 600 mentors, mentees, experts, facilitators, people that have gone through the program in the last five years. 
these are people from all over the world. We have, um, as you can see in the diagram below, representing the world, we have representations from multiple countries, and there they are. Yes. So we are trying to see how science can be ad science can only be advanced when you share your work. So how can you share your work in a way that is responsible and you have been protected as you share the work? So what can that be? What can open science be? It could be about the data storage. It could be about developing um, code or hardware. It could also be about protocols. It can be about sharing your community, reviewing papers, transferring your skills to others, collaborating with the public, supporting and connecting with others in the field, and welcoming contributors and maintainers. So your project for the open seed can be in any of these different roles. It can be about the data you're working with, how to make it open. It could be about a software you're trying to develop and how to make it open. It could be if you're working with hardware, your storage uh, protocols, how do you communicate your finding with others? If you have a community of um, researchers, then you're trying to figure out how best to communicate your work with others. That can all be part or as a project for the open seed. So th there is a 2012 studies of 160 tech companies found that level of strategic intent in openness, not openness alone, correlate with effective market performance. So when you are strategic about being open, then the level of um, effective performance within the organization increases. This is just to show how important being open and open science is, um, not just for researchers, but also for um, companies as well. So the cult what, what do we want to do is cultural change toward open science. And what does that require? It requires leadership, vision, strategy, um, targeted measures, transparency, accountability, trust, and confidence in a shared version. So these are the cultural change that would enable um, open science. These developments and leadership skills are highly useful, the ones that we have mentioned before, and are transferable, but often not formally thought in academia. So it's kind of, they are important skills, but they are not thought in a formal setting. And that's what the Open Seed Mentoring and Training Program aims to achieve. How can we impact, how can we train individuals on these skills so that we can have better open science? So what would be your open science journey? We have mentors and we have experts, which would represent as Sam, and then we have project leads and mentees, which are represented as Joe. You can be in any of these categories, but we are going to take a, a typical journey of what happens if you're in either of these categories. So for the mentor, for the mentees and project leads, you receive training through cohort calls, and then you develop your idea on the project with mentorship from their mentor. Uh, most of the people joining us today are probably either project leads or mentees. It means that your journey will include receiving training through cohort calls, and then developing your project idea through the mentorship call with your mentors. So what about if you're joining as a mentor? For a mentor, the mentor will work closely with their mentees, while the experts will provide insight through talks in cohorts and occasional consultant call. So for example, during a mentor-mentee call and the mentor and mentee realize that they need an expert in their conversation, they could request for one, and that could be the expert could be provided um, so that um, if there are specific topics that the mentor and mentee will need guidance from an external expert. 
So how long does this all take? It takes about 16 weeks. You have on an odd week, um, say a cohort-based training, and then on an even week, you have a mentor and mentee call. Then you also have some hands-on training and skill up sessions that could happen either on the cohort um, training week or on the mentoring week. But the whole training takes about 16 weeks with the last two weeks for rehearsal and the last, the 16th week for presentation. So the 15th week is for rehearsal and the 16th week is for uh, presenting your project. So the actual um, interaction between mentor, mentee and cohort calls lasts for the first 14 weeks. So what is this, John? This is um, a high level representation of the journey that you will go through as a mentee or as a project lead for the open seat. Um, it starts with welcoming you to open science. Then you have project um, tooling and road mapping. Then you do project development, community design, um, open leadership, knowledge dissemination, diversity, inclusion, and then next steps on the open. Then you graduate the open seat program. Now this, this whole um, 16 weeks, you're not going to be just alone with your mentor or during the cohort calls. The team will be there to support you if you have questions, if you need guidance, or you need, um, you want to talk about an idea you're developing, the team is there to support you. We are going to have dedicated um, Slack channels for the cohort, and then we are going to have, so for this particular um, Catalyst uh, cohort, I'm going to be the coordinator. So if you have any questions, you can reach out to me. And as well, the whole OLS team and the Catalyst project team, as the case might be. Um, also, I would like to state that when you pass through the Open Seed program, you are entitled to NASA TOPS uh, badge. Uh, and this is where there are overlaps between the Open Seed program and the NASA uh, TOPS program. So because the content is fairly similar, so at the end of the um. After your graduation, you would be able to receive a NASA TOPS uh, badge. Currently, it takes about three months, but um, they are working on trying to improve that um, timeline. Also, I would like to state that we provide micro grants, which I have stated in the email. These micro grants are different from the ongoing Catalyst Project micro grants for the trainings that we have. And uh, we can talk more about them if you are interested. So this generally ends my presentation. I am going to stop sharing and look at the chats. I have seen a couple of um, chats popping up. Yes, this. Okay. Um. Thank you. This the the I just checked the most of the chats there are for people joining um we have a few people that just joined um thank you very much for joining us uh please sign in in the etherpad if you scroll down to check in to confirm the line number currently um line 21 22 you will see that you can sign in your name your social media and an emoji if you scroll down to about line 37 you can write a song, um, share a song that you like. It might not represent your personality. Um, yes. So that was a brief presentation on the Open Seed program. Um, Yo, Irene, Debs, Toby, anything you would like to add? Nothing to add. I think it would be nice to hear if anyone has questions.
Um, thank you, you. So if you do have a question, you can raise up your hand. You can write in the ether part, anything that would work for you. And if there are... Tell me which is bug. Okay. Um, Azat, please tell me which is bug. And if there are clarifications you'd like to ask, or if you have your specific project idea you'd like to talk about, um, do feel free to do that. Um, traditionally, I'm going to stop recording the question and answer sessions, but I would like to write them down so that we can share with everybody afterwards.